Evening, everyone. It's uh, Monday evening around 6.50, and this is your closing comment for today, Monday, the 19th of April. Uh, it's video number 719, and as always, I remind you, if you like the work, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, so we had some numbers today after the close, some before the open. Um, before the open, we had a pretty nice beat by Harley Davidson, HOG. Um, and this morning, the stock was up about $2. In point of fact, it ended up closing up almost $4, up $3.91 at $44.29. 9.7% gain. Um, Coca Cola also beat, but, uh, you know, it's a mature company wasn't overwhelming and the stock finished the day up 31 cents at 53.99 up six tenths of a percent and uh, after the close we had UAL and IBM UAL was a loss and missed and uh, the stock which was down 54.90 at 54.99 down 88 cents at the close continued lower and the last is 53.90 down a dollar 90 or 3.4 percent and uh, IBM a serial um, miss uh, and disappointment today turned it the other way uh, they had slightly better earnings and revenue um, and the company which had closed at 133.12 down 47 actually traded as high as 139.63 and the last is 137 and a quarter up 361 or 2.63 percent uh, Peloton had that news about the uh, child who was killed by one of their um, uh, treadmills and as it turns out uh, that child was only one of 39 reported cases. Uh, the stock was down about uh, 8 or $10, got a little cheaper during the day, but came back and closed uh, the day uh, 108, down 802 or 7%. Tesla also with a problem, a uh, serious crash that uh, seems nobody was driving. Um, although the stock was down to 700, down 40 in the morning, uh, it actually finished down only 26.45 or 3.6% on a day where the market was weak to begin with. Um, ARK, A-R-K-K, -K, was down almost four dollars 120 44 down 394 in sympathy with the rest of technology that's uh, Kathy Woods uh, Arc management's uh, innovation fund and last but not least we had Altria the old Philip Morris whose symbol by the way is still mo uh, down pretty hard on the fact that that the government came out and said that they may lower the amount allowable of nicotine. Uh, the stock closed 47.95 and that was down 435 or 8.3%. Dow was down 123 and change, three tenths of a percent, not so bad. Uh, NASDAQ was down 137.58, still under 1%. Uh, S&P down 22.21. And that's coming off a new all-time high, so nothing really to complain about there. Um, the weakest of the indexes was, again, the small caps with the Russell 2000 closing down $30.67, 1.36%. And the Dow Jones transports down 120 or 8 tenths of a percent. Um, Advanced declines on the NYSE were roughly 2 to 1 down. On the NASDAQ, 2.2 to 1 down. Volume was about unchanged at $4.3 billion, same as Friday. Uh, and as far as uh, groups went, real estate was the only one up. Information technology and consumer discretionary both down. And uh, Apple was one of the few higher tech stocks today, and that's on the basis of the fact that they have an event tomorrow. 
Uh, oil was up 24 cents, no real action there. Gold, which is the chart on the screen, was again a little bit of a disappointment to me. Uh, it did have a higher low and a higher high, but it closed pretty darn close to the low and down $9.60. Uh, we would really expect to see it hold, uh, we really need to hold this uh, 1755, 1760, and uh, would have to move through today's high, uh, which was uh, 1790, uh, in order to challenge this 19, uh, 18 to 1820 area. All right, everyone, have a good evening. I'll be, oh, almost forgot, Bitcoin. The other big mover today uh, recovered a bit from its uh, over the weekend and Sunday night decline. It's about unchanged right now, uh, but it got as low as 54,450 during the day today. Um, but when you look at it in this context, you see it is not unusual for it to have these kind of pullbacks. Um, this is a nice uptrend line. We didn't break it today. This uh, orange line is the 50-day moving average. We didn't break that today. Uh, the only difference between these last couple of times and today is the fact that it gapped down over the weekend and Sunday night. Uh, but I think, you know, if it holds in this area, actually, if it holds 52,000, um, I think that it starts higher and, uh, again, it's really hard to not see this at 68 to 70,000 in the near term. All right, everyone, if you like the work, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps support us. And I'll be back in the morning.